everybody. I just drove the truck over here. Let me shut off the engine so you can hear me talk. Melanie and I are going on a road trip to visit family, so it's a five hour round trip. And I have made a beautiful battery box, which I then split open with a screw afterwards, but I built a box around the capacitor bank, and then I mounted the battery terminals on very nicely. Everything's solid and secure and good. Um, but for safety, then I put tape around the positive terminal all the way around the positive wires, and then I put a piece of plastic over that and tape that just to be extra safe because this is not, you know, there's no real support here. And then I screwed in a board. That's where I split my wood here, but I screwed in a board that holds that from, from flopping around. And it's, it's pretty, pretty safe in there, pretty uh, rugged in there. Uh, it, it doesn't move this way at all, and this way it just wiggles a little, and up and down it doesn't move at all. So I've got two rubber straps tying it in place to the side of the vehicle, and it should be good. So Melanie, if you would please hold the camera, and I'll start the truck. Should be just fine now. Let's see what the battery is. Oh yeah, we got good. Now I can open the light. The door, the dome light is on, and I should still be able to start the vehicle. Don't drop it off. They'll charge instantaneously once that alternator is running. They're going to charge right up. So you don't have to drive very much to recharge that capacitor bank. Whereas with a dead battery, you'd have to charge the drive for an hour. So looks like we're going to be good. I'm going to check my fluid, so I'm going to leave the engine running, but thank you, Melanie. i got to get to work. Well, guys, here we go. Uh, voltage is looking good. I just started the vehicle. I'm waiting on Melanie to close things up. And we are taking a road trip with capacitors instead of a battery in my 95 Dodge Dakota with a 4-liter engine. Uh, six cylinder four liter engine running entirely on a capacitor Hi guys, well as you can see it's raining out so I've got the wipers on I've got the lights on I've got the heat on and We're running good and smooth everything's looking good um, Put on about 40 miles already just a little under 40 miles already on this trip and we're about to make a little pit stop for Melanie and that'll include shutting down all the power and then restarting the vehicle which I'm sure it's going to do fine so this is the ultimate road test for the batteries or the capacitor battery replacement hi guys you probably can't see much but uh, we've been driving all day. Probably started and stopped a vehicle about 15 or 20 times today. What do you figure, Melanie? Is that about right? Yeah. We're driving very slow right now because there's a lot of deer here. A lot. And it's nighttime. But we've got lights going. We've got heater going. I've got bright lights on. And we're running just good. Um, starting and stopping all day today. We were shopping in town. Uh, met up with my parents for Mother's Day meal. Did a lot of starting and stopping. Shutting off the vehicle and starting it. And had no problems at all except for one time when I thought the truck was started and it wasn't and I let off the key and then I went to crank again and I think I had to go three times before the vehicle started and it was low on the capacitors. So I'm probably going to add more capacitors for a buffer room for times like that. But we were opening and closing the doors a lot, which turns on the dome light, and uh, that all puts drain on it. But we did get it running. I do notice that with super capacitors, there's more power for starting the engine instantaneously. It seems to start much, much better than on the battery. I did notice that. Huge, huge difference. Very noticeable when you first start the vehicle. But uh, for buffer room for engines that don't start as easily as my good old truck, you would need uh, a 
couple more banks and capacitors. But, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. But it was a very good day, and we had no troubles. So, good night, everybody. Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project.